And tonight we hear from a trailblazer on what is a milestone anniversary. 40 years ago on August 30th at 2.32 in the morning, Guyon, also known as Guy Bluford, became the first African American to fly in space. The retired Air Force pilot and astronaut is still hard at work in aerospace engineering and he calls Westlake home. He celebrated the historic space shuttle flight at the Great Lakes Science Center. For me, it was an exciting experience. I still look back upon it with a great deal of pride. Dr. Guion Bluford was selected by NASA when many minorities didn't see themselves reflected in the astronaut corps. He became the mission specialist for the eighth flight of the space shuttle and the first black man in space. So I take a great deal of pride in opening that window and uh, giving other black astronauts the, the encouragement and support for them to fly in space. Upon returning to Earth, he knew he had to fly again. And he did. Three more shuttle missions, totaling almost 700 hours in space. The view out the window is spectacular, and for me, I enjoyed the zero G. You get to see the world from a very this unique perspective. Bluford talked about his accomplishments at the Great Lakes Science Center before a preview screening of the National Geographic documentary, The Space Race, for which he was interviewed. He's now looking forward to our return to the moon with Artemis, when the first woman and the first person of color will walk on the lunar surface. I think it'll be another great step forward for us, and uh, it'll give both uh, uh, minorities an opportunity to walk on the moon and open up that uh, vista for other astronauts that will follow. I could talk to him for days. He doesn't want to talk to me for days, though. But uh, Bluford does visit the Science Center often. If you get to run into him, make sure you say hi. He talks to school kids. And he's encouraging them to reach for the stars. Now, that documentary, The Space Race, will be released on Disney Plus in the coming months.